Hi, and welcome to DIY with Jeannie. Today, um, if you are a first-time subscriber, welcome, and or first-time viewer, um, welcome. If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate your um, trust in me, if you will. And if you are a long-time subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much. You are what keeps my channel going. Today, we're going to make, uh, again, for our travel accessories, the cord ties that go around your cords so that you can take everything with you. And then we'll, in the next couple of times, we will come back and do bags. So I've made some um, patterns out of leftover um, interfacing. So it's just there were little pieces I had left. Uh, I knew that I could still use them for something. It happens to be this. But what we do is cut around them. There's our vinyl. And this one's a small one. Looks like a little band-aid. But we'll put a snap in the end. We're going to go sew around the edge so that we get a nice finished appearance. Then for your little cords, the little bitty ones, like this happens to be for my Bluetooth earbuds, we can just put it around and it's a little tiny cord holder that then can go in our bag and we know that our cord is going to be held. This one's bigger, so it is going to be for your larger cords. Again, we're going to put a snap there after we've sewn it. So I'm going to make a few more of these, cut them out, and we're going to go sew them and then I'll show you how to do this, the snaps. Um, I appreciate your, your coming and spending your time with me. I hope you enjoy the travel inspired things that we're doing. It is mainly because summer's coming upon us and we're all getting ready to travel. So let me cut some more and I will be back and show you how to put the snaps in. Okay, so we have all of ours stitched and you can see how I stitched it, but it's right up to the edge and you really cannot see, let's see if I can get that little piece of dark string from there, and I can't, so we're just going to leave it alone so we don't mess it up. But you really can't see it on the front. Now, on this shiny, the iridescent, I put this paper, this tearaway on it because the vinyl is so sticky that it sticks to the feet of the machine and um, it won't feed it. And so it's you really need something on top of it. And I just put tear away on it. You can put, I've, I have in the past used just regular paper, you know, what I have available, what I have near me. And you just set it on top and sew over it and then it just pull it right off. Kind of makes a perforated edge to it. And so that is the easiest way to feed this through the machine. It does not wish to do it otherwise. And if you don't like how far away or how uneven it is, you can come back with your scissors afterwards and just cut it closer to that sewn line so it doesn't look odd. So see, I'm just taking it and so now it looks like I did that on purpose. It was an intentional thing. There we go. There's that. There's that one. These, this uh, textured, thicker type. It's not thicker. It's just it feels heavier. Um, really works the best. This one works really well. But this uh, iridescent because of the nature of the iridescence, it just really does not like going through the machine. And so you really have to put something down on top of the shiny part just to, so the foot will slide across it. Otherwise, it won't move. It just gets stuck and the, the needle just goes up and down in one place and sometimes it gets wadded underneath and it's just a nightmare. So there are our pieces, and what we are going to do now is, I'm using this to punch a hole. Yeah, that's the smallest hole. 
this it's a crocodile anything that you have you can even have an awl something with a sharp point that you can just stab a hole through it that's all you need is a hole and then our cam snaps are these i think we might we'll, we'll do a combination of black and white so you have you'll need two of these with the point and then one of each of these one that has the um the poke out part and the the pop in part so you'll need that let's get another top and i'll show you how that goes i use this you'll see people with a great big machine a, a stand that um they have on their desk and it, they just pop it and that's fine it's probably easier but this is inexpensive you can get a bunch of these snaps with this for around 10 bucks so anything to put a hole in it do a tiny hole and then a way to put your snap in now if you can sew them in if you have the kind that you hand sew in use them but i prefer these because it's less work i don't like hand sewing that much so you want to put the top in the big part underneath. Slide it in like so. Get it set so the top, it's got top and bottom. And then you just press real hard. And what I usually do is I press and then I turn it and I press again. Because I just want to make sure that that point gets really folded down in there. So let's do the other side. I look at this because this is a smaller hole than the opposite side, and I don't need a great big hole. Pop it into its little pocket. Crush, turn, crush, finished. Now, we have a working snap. And I put it a little close to the edge. I'd like it to have been a little further in. But it works fine because there is quite a bit on that edge. And then you can take your cord, put it in, and now your cord stays all tied up. And that one's done. So let me get all of these done. And we will, uh, I'll show you how they all look. Okay, now we have all of them finished. They've all got the correct sides, which that's the really most important thing is making sure you have opposite sides when you go to put them together. Now, if you only wanted to make one size of this, I'd make it smalls. And the reason I say that is because you can just hook them all together and make a great big one if you needed a great big one. So here are all of them. That we finished today and you'll notice I didn't use any black because I don't have the backs of all the blacks so I just have the pointed part out here with me and that was poor planning on my part so there we go we have our zip tie basically our cord cord organizers um, not sure what you call it uh, but in all different shapes, sizes, colors. And now I am ready to get all my cords together, throw them in a bag, and take them with me on a trip. And I will be going on a trip this coming week. And so I'll have my cords all neat and tidy in my bag. And that will be awesome. Now the other thing that you can do is, I think it's the same. Nope, that one's bigger. Is if you have a couple of these small ones, just put them in the same tie. 
And here I've got this. I'm going to fold that one in half, put it the opposite direction. And it, now I've got both of these little ones together and I don't have to worry about them. So there are our tiny ones, our long ones, and our leftover for everything else. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, I appreciate it. If you've not already subscribed, but you think maybe you want to subscribe because maybe this is the kind of craft and easy sewing that um, you're interested in, I would love to have you be part of our family and our craziness, mi vida loca. And um, hopefully we'll see you next time.